Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part six of our series of session on the tallies feature of cost center under the playlist of cost center. In the last four sessions, we understood how cost center can be used for different units of the organization. So we also saw how department is being used for cost center products, divisions, branches, and also individual. So starting from this session on, we will be now going into Tally and then start exploring the wonderful feature of Tally's cost center and uh, learn how we can maximum use the cost center features of Tally for your organization's requirement. So in this session, we will cover the very simple and very useful feature of cost center in Tally, which is the cost center class. So we will understand what is cost center class and under what circumstances you can use cost center class. So let's go to Tally and discover the cost center class. I'm sure now you know how to enable cost center in Tally Prime, create cost centers as needed and also pass transactions with cost center allocation. Some of you, if you are viewing this video for the first time, you can visit my first video under the playlist of cost center and quickly know about the same. We will now explore the feature of cost center class. What is cost center class? In Tally Prime, Defining a cost center class means setting up of predefined allocations to cost centers. Let us revisit our chart of accounts to view the cost centers that have been created for this company. Here we are viewing primary cost center as departments and under this primary cost center there are five sub cost centers which are Accounts Department, Marketing Department, Purchase Department, Sales Department and Stores Department. Let us take a use case for the need to create cost center class. In an organization, there might be some expenses which are incurred organization wide. Example, let us say the organization is conducting an annual employees meet. Here, the organization wants to allocate these expenses equally to all departments. Also, there could be other expenses which the organization wants to allocate in a similar fashion. To meet this requirement, you can create a cost center. Let's create a class now. How do we create a class? From the gateway of Tally, we will select Create, Enter. And now, if we observe here, we have only cost center. How do we enable cost center class? Go to show more, click on show more and press enter. Now we will observe that the cost center class option is visible. Select and press enter. Now we have to provide a name for this class for us to select this class during the voucher entry. So we give a name so that the moment you see the title of the cost center class, the person who is going to allocate cost center is clear about the allocation that has been provided in the class, which we are going to see now. We will give a title as common allocation. Enter. And now Tally is asking us, now select the cost centers that you want to allocate and what percentage that you want to allocate for each of the cost centers. We need to now select all the departments. So I'm going to select first accounts. So by default, it takes 100% of the value to be allocated. But in our case, we want to allocate equally. So I'm going to say 20%. There are five departments. So we are going to say 20% each of the department. So select the other departments. We have allocated 20% of whatever expenses that has been debited to be allocated to 
each of this selected department. Once we have done this, the cursor moves to other class creation. In Tally Prime, you can create any number of class of any ratio you would want. It is not necessary to create all of them straight away. We can always come here at a later point in time and create necessary class or classes. Let us save the screen. Enter and now we have created our cost center class. Let us now go to voucher entry and select payment voucher. First let us pass this entry without class and see the amount of time and effort it takes. Select employees annual meet which I have already created. Enter and let's say the amount is 1,50,000. Enter and now Tally is asking you for cost center allocation. So normally what we do, we are going to select the cost center, the entire amount gets allocated and now we have to divide equally among the five cost centers. So we have to now use the calculator, press Alt C, so type 1,50,000 divided by 5 and you are going to get the answer as 30,000 and when you press enter, Tally will automatically capture that amount. So now we know 30,000 rupees needs to be allocated for each of the cost centers. So select the second cost center, 30,000 again. And the last one is stores, enter 30,000. The balance amount gets auto captured. Enter. And this is where we are going to get the allocation information on the screen. Credit, we are going to select your bank account, enter. I'm not going to save this voucher. Now let us pass the same entry with the cost center class. So again, we go to voucher entry. The payment voucher is already selected. Once we are in the payment voucher, remember your secret number two, which is your F12 configure. And you have this option called select cost center class, which by default, it will be no. Come here and set this option to yes. The next option, show list of cost center. Currently, we will keep this as no. We will discuss this later. Save this, control A. The moment we enable this option, we can observe here the cost center class field is displayed. Enter. The cursor comes to cost center class. And now, press spacebar. Tally is going to give you the list of all the cost centers that you have created. In this case, we have created only one cost center class. So select the common allocation, enter and select the expenditure ledger, enter, enter the amount which is 1,50,000, enter and now it will not ask you for cost center allocation. The class will take care of the allocation as per the percentage that we have specified in the class. So credit or bank account enter and it is this simple enter and accept i'm going to save this voucher so now this 150000 has been allocated 30000 each for each of the department so how do we see this let us go to the cost center report and see what happens we go to display more report statement of account cost centers and we have this cost center summary, enter. We observe 1,50,000 has been allocated. So we need to see the breakup of allocation. By default, tallies, any report will be in condensed format. So if you want to see the detailed information, we are going to press Alt plus F5. So once we do this, you will now observe that each of the department Tally is automatically allocated the amount. Notice here, department is listed twice. What is this one more cost center? If you recall, in one of my earlier videos, I had mentioned about the primary cost center, which doubles itself as cost center for allocation also, which means even though we have created the departments like a group, you can still use this cost center for allocation if required. Let us take an example. The company has incurred expenses towards painting of the office. 
it becomes cumbersome to measure the occupancy square feet of each department and allocate or the company now just wants to capture this expenses as part of departmental cost so how do we handle this let us pass an entry to view the result i click on go to and here we have an option to create a voucher i go here and then enter and now when i press space bar i am going to get this common allocation now i don't want to split this expenditure across the department so what i do i am going to say cost center class as not applicable now i am going to select painting charges which i had already created enter and let's say 50000 rupees has been spent towards painting charges enter and now it is asking you for the cost center allocation press space bar and now you are going to select the departments so this is where it acts like a ledger also kind of now we will select departments the entire amount will go to the departments enter credit your bank account enter and we are going to save this voucher control a let's go back to the report so all you need to do is just press escape and we will be taken to the previously viewed report if you notice here now the department's cost center has 50000 which is a common expenditure but overall expenditure the company is incurred towards the departments is 2 lakh which includes the common allocation and individual allocations of each of the departments i hope you would have understood a very simple and useful feature of this cost center class we also understood how we can use the cost center class for auto allocation and also for faster data entry by using the cost center so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much